Hello guys, my name is Effex and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. We are currently on episode 4. I don't know what it's called. I should have checked. If I was professional, I would have checked, but alas, I'm not. So that's what you're getting. Uh, in the end of the last episode, we got double-crossed by Vicky Vale. Although technically it wasn't Vicky Vale. It was, I think it was Scarecrow. It could have been. It's bloody Psychomantis is what it was. We also got it on with Batwoman, Catwoman, that's the thing. Uh, and and now we've been framed because we got poisoned it did by said Vicky Vale slash Scarecrow slash Psychomantis person, and we took a swing for Cobblepot, or might have killed him. So, that being said, sit back, relax, get the popcorn out, and let's get started! Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. If Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Did I? I mean, that looked pretty violent, but I, I, I could have killed him. Did I kill him? I don't know. We've not shaven for a week. I'll tell you that for nothing right now. Are we in a hospital? Psychiatric ward? What's going on? I need answers. I, I've got too many bloody questions and not enough answers. Are we in Arkham? I have no idea. Let's find out together. I have no idea, Bruce, mate. I'm trying to figure that out. No. It's either Arkham or it's a very cushy prison. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? Okay, we're on. Are we on? We're on. We're definitely on. Right. So we've got a jumpsuit put on or examine, which I imagine we're gonna... Look at the cozy cot! Why the bloody hell not? My blood. Oh, shit. God, I hope it's mine. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have looked at the cozy cot. It's not so cozy anymore. Right. There's a camera up there. I know what we need to do. I'm just gonna investigate shit around said bedroom slash uh, prison cell thing. Okay, that's good. Uh, examine and then put on the jumpsuit. Oh, we're, no, definitely, no. we're definitely this in the asylum. We're in the asylum now. Okay, that's the thing. Put said jumpsuit on, please, sir. And then answer that bastard door can't so we can eat breakfast. Whew. So, from that entrance, by that I mean intro, <laughs> I can do English. Uh, I think we might have battered him to death. We battered him. Within an inch of his life, broken wall. Uh, I don't know if we Looks killed like him or not, but we we did enough to come here. Lovely. Is what I'm trying to say. Lovely indeed, lads. Right, so we've examined everything. So now we're gonna open said cell door to get our breakfast. <laughs> Can no one see the veins popping out of my uh, out of Bad my chest? And arms, no. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? All of the above, my good fellow. Not really allowed to give it out. 
I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. How I can you not rice. see the veins Yours popping out of my arm, lad? You beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Okay. Time so, to meet your neighbors. Oh, hi there, guys. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. So he is still alive. Oh, bollocking hell. He's got a taser. All right, where's mine? <laughs> oh, this, is, this is a fair fight, isn't it? You look just like him. Oh, Your bollocking hell. tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's got to pay for that. I hope to God uh, Bring it on, Mofo! Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. Oh, okay. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what if I clicked? Give me a hug. <laughs> Always go for that option. Always go for the hug option. That's not nice. All right, come on, lad. I know you've been brainwashed, but you're better than this. Oh, hello. Down. Nicely done. And then zappy, zappy, zoop, zoop. Okay, I didn't mean to me, but all right. That happened. We thought the bloody cozy cot was bad. You want to see the floor? What? Oh, hello. Not nice. How do you like it? You are. Bloody hell is this? Is this the Joker? That would be amazing if this is the Joker. Joker! Buddy. I didn't know he was buddy. in this. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. I mean, it could be the Joker. Like the I don't know. Uh, thanks, I be? guess. Thanks. Thanks, I, Dave. Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? That's gotta be the Joker. I'm putting a ten pound bet on it right now. That's here. Joker. It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna write him out, am I? Yeah, I did this. Yeah. I did it. I'm I'm a badass mofo, yeah, don't we know? Happened. We have a very strict no fighting policy here in Arkham. Shit. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. Sorry! The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <laughs> Us nice guys got to stick together. Am I right? Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. Okie <laughs> dokie. Again, why has no one seen the vein popping out the arm? The veins, plural, more than one, there's multiple of them popping out the bloody arm. Why does no one think that's suspicious? He's not that thin. He doesn't work out that much. Bloody Nora. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc. Oh, I hello. Like We're on. Bit of gameplay. Doesn't go amiss in a game. Your next evaluation is... So all we can do is walk in a straight line. We can't move left or right, and we can look left or right, but that's oh. about it. There's nothing else we can click on. I'm going to shut up and let these two talk. Hi. Oh, ho, ho. I want a taste. You've got to be more careful. 
careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. <laughs> I hope these guys don't escape. Otherwise, I'm buggered. I mean, I'm <laughs> you remember the first Now we're back. We're back with the walking. Stay away from that bloody door. Tell you that for nothing right now. How could I, I not stay away from a bloody window? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I'm getting jump stairs in a bloody Batman tells it okay. Like it. You try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another take one. good care of him. Oh, why do I not like the sound of that, John? Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit. You know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! You've that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. Well, what is this? It's a key, lad. Have you never, you never seen one of them before? No? Okie dokie. So, we can now walk around the asylum. We're gonna go and talk to Billy. Why the bloody hell not? Billy, come here. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Okay, mate. Thanks for that. Thank thanks for that, bro. Talk, mate. We're not gonna go and talk to the ventriloquist. Hello. Hello. Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. That's uh, that's that's pr pretty good. That I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a skill in itself is what that is. Okay, okay. We're going to walk around here and talk to the guy who's got his top off. Excuse me! Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Oh, I don't think they're bloody tattoos, are they? Uh... We're gonna ask him about John. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me, I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? 
Okie dokie. And now we're back to walk around. Use the key on the cabinet. Have we got... Hello. Why, why don't we do that? Why don't we use the key on the cabinet? Does it fit? Does it fit the hole? Oh. Not the right key for this. Okie dokie. My key's too bloody big. Right. So we're going to go over here to the nurse's station and see what they can tell us. Don't tell them about the key, lads. Just FYI. Hi. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. What a bellend! All right, so we don't go over there. So we have a key, but we don't know what the key's for. I imagine we can't Doctor use it on the gate, rules. right? Can we use the key on the gate? Surely not. There's a camera there. You might want to be careful of that one, lad. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Is it for? That's good because if we got through that gate, I imagine we probably couldn't really do much damage because we would have got arrested or whatever it is that they, we would have we would have got restrained to did restraint again. I I know English. <laughs> we would have got restrained did. We would have got whatever. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Uh oh. I remember him. I I don't want to give the key to the orderly, do I? We're gonna talk to him instead. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Okay, well that was useful. Thanks for that, laddie. Uh, we're just gonna go back and talk to the John Doe. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law. Including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crossing, two faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. Oh. I'm gonna expose your corruption. Oh, what? Not X. Square oh X. Square X. Square Will X. Square X. 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 This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. Should have pressed square. People caught in the middle. Should have pressed square. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Publicly. So it is actually Vicky then. Something Vicky is the scarecrow person, woman thing, or what? I just, tell me what you know. Oh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something 
darker in you. You have absolutely you no idea, lad. Like I could tell you enjoyed it. Uh, no, it was the drugs. Honestly, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Uh oh. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Uh, can drive people uh, to do what? some pretty Why dark so? I'm nothing like her, lad. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. I don't like the sound of that, Bruce. Mate, uh, I don't I don't like the sound of that, mate. Uh uh What's that's it's gonna happen, obviously. Friend. I've seen the films. Uh that one! Sure. One favor that seems fair. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should I sure as shit should have done that. You'll see. Just I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. That'll be the phone that I need to use then, right? You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Okie dokie, hey, Auntie Zaz. Jokey. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, hello. No, 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 I don't match. Oh, God, I don't match. You can fix that right now. The skin feels like it's itching. Burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. Bloody hell, that's brutal. Someone give me a sedative. <laughs> Run, run for the phone, me. mate! Run! Run for the phone! We'll ignore the veins popping out of your face. We'll oh, use the phone. Fuck it. Fuck it. Use the phone. <laughs> Every man for himself in Arkham. Oh, that's that's horrible. Okay, that's that's a thing. I probably should have stopped the fight, but never mind. Uh Oh, what? Why are you giving me choices? Uh, uh balls, that one! Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that, but never mind. Shit, Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Shit. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Shit! Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug that children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. Okay, maybe it was the right choice. Or maybe both of them work. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Hi! Vicky, come on! Okay. Good luck on the outside, oh. Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. So, I'm still confused. Granted, it doesn't take much to confuse this little tiny brain that I've got. But, was it, is it actually Vicky Vale? Or was Vicky Vale being disguised as someone else? Or someone else disguised themselves as Vicky Vale? Because there was a flashback thing where it turned into Psycho Mantis slash Scarecrow or whatever. So is that actually Vicky Vale, or was someone using Vicky Vale's identity to do the, the deed, if you know what I mean? I have absolutely no bloody idea. And on that note, guys, I am going to leave that one there. So, yeah, I'm stumped. I'm stumped. But never mind. I'm probably, we're probably going to find out either way. Uh, either she, she's been locked up and, and took hostage somewhere. She's either dead. Or, or it is actually her that's, that's the, the mastermind behind everything. But until then, we're, we're just going to plod along like we have no idea what's going on. So, that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye, yo!